Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Quran Steps, Surah Al Baqarah, Surah number 2, verse number 90. A'udhu billah min ash shaytani rajeem. Let's begin with the recitation. Bi'sama shtarao bihi anfusahum an yakfuru bima anzala Allahu baghiyan an yunazzila Allahu min fadlihi ala man yashau min ibadihi fabau bi ghadabin ala ghadab. وَلِلْكَافِدِينَ عَذَابٌ مُّهِينَ Quick translation, بِئْسَمَا How wretched اشْتَرَوْ بِهِ For which they have sold أَنفُسَهُمْ themselves أَنْ يَكْفُرُوا That they disbelieved بِمَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهِ For what? That which Allah has revealed بَغْيًا Out of بَغِي Translated as outrage in Sahih International But we'll have a look later on أَنْ يُنَزِّلَ اللَّهُ مِنْ فَضْلِهِ That Allah should reveal out of His bounty عَلَى مَنْ يَشَاء Upon whom He wishes مِنْ عِبَادِهِ From His slaves فَبَاءُوا So they returned بِغَضَبٍ عَلَى غَضَبٍ With anger upon anger وَلِلْكَافِرِينَ And for the kuffar عَذَابٌ muheen Is a punishment that is humiliating بِئْسَمَا بِئْسَ كَلِمَةُ الذَّمْ بِئْسَ is a word of uh, disparaging putting somebody down. Diduha ni'ma, the opposite is ni'ma, fa'innaha lil madh. And ni'ma, the word ni'ma is used when you want to praise something. So if you want to say a good boy, you will say ni'ma al walad, I mean excellent, outstanding boy. If you want to say a terrible boy, you will say bits al walad. Ishtarao literally means to purchase, but ihuna bi ma'na ba'u. Here its meaning is to sell. Bihi with it anfusahum themselves. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, Bi'sama shtarao bihi anfusahum. Wretched is what they have sold themselves. So he's, Yuqabbihu Allahu ta'ala. Allah is disparaging them. Sulukahum, their suluk, what they have done, their manners. Haythu, in which ba'u anfusahum, they sold themselves rakhisatan for some very cheap price. This dunya is cheap. In the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. An yakfuru, what did they do? They disbelieved. Bima anzalallah, with what Allah has revealed, baghiyan. So the commentary says, ba'uha bil kufr. They sold their souls for kufr. Falam yu'minu, and they did not believe bil Qur'an, in the Qur'an, wa nabiyyahu, and the nabi of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Hasadan wa dhulman, out of envy and oppression. Um, Shaykh uh, Saadi points out Al Baghyu Dhulmun. Here, the word Baghi in the Quran, here, where is it? Here, Baghi. Bima anzal Allahu Baghiyan. Al Baghyu Huna Dhulm means oppression, khas. It's a special type of oppression. I.e., in other words, Al Hasad. Here, it means Hasad, envy. Wahua Al Hasad, to envy, is Tamanna Zawal al Ni'ma, is to desire the end of a bounty. Anil ghair from someone else. Somebody has a bounty, and you want to, you want this bounty to end. This is hasad. Well, hasid, the person who does hasad, hasid, lan yana lahu nafun. There is no benefit that will ever come to him min zawal ni'mat al mahsud. If the ni'ma from the person who has it and is envied al mahsud, if this ni'ma is zawal, in other words, if this ni'ma disappears. It will not benefit the person who is doing the envy, the hasid. كما أنه لا يناله ضر ضر ضرر من بقائها. Just like they will never reach him any harm if the نعمة stays with the person who is envied. وما دام كذلك and as long as this is the case, the hasid the ظالم the person who envies is an oppressor. للمحسود upon the person upon he whom he envies بتمنى زوال النعمة by his desire for the bounty to disappear وصدق الشاعر and a poet is true when he said في قوله وأظلم الخلق الله من بات حاسدا the most oppressive creature of Allah is the one who spends his night i.e. his entire life or all this time envious for whom لمن بات في نعمائه يتقلب for the person who spends his night بات في نعمائه in 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 bounty يتقلب in other words he is 
uh, going, he's turning around in this bounty. Literally, uh, he, he lives in this bounty. وَفِيهِ ذَمُّ الْحَسَدِ And in it is the them, is the disparagement of envy. وَأَنَّهُ أَخُ الْبَغِي And this is the أَخُ or the brother or sister of بَغِي which is oppression. وَآقِبَتُهُمَا And the two of these, their end is حِرْمَان is to be deprived, of course, of the ajr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَالْخَرَابِ And it could be for the destruction of things. Going back to the ayah, أَن يُنَزِّلَ اللَّهُ مِنْ فَضْلِهِ And that Allah has revealed from His bounty عَلَىٰ on مَنْ whoever يَشَاء He wills مِنْ from عِبَادِهِ His slaves. أَن يَكُونَ فِي الْعَرَبِ So what does this mean? That what were they envious of, the Jews? أَن يَكُونَ فِي الْعَرَبِ That amongst the Arabs, نَبِيٌّ There should be a Nabi. يُوحَى إِلَيْهِ he, who, To whom revelation is given. وَرَسُولٌ A messenger. يُطَاعَ يُطَاعُ وَيَتَّبْ يُطَّبَعُ Who is uh, obeyed and followed. So the Jews were envious that such a messenger should come amongst the Arabs rather than the Jews. So what happened? فَبَاءُ بَاءُ أَيْمِ رَجَعُ بَاءُ means رَجَعُ رَجَعُ means to return. What did they return? Imagine they're going on a journey and they get some goods and they're coming back. So this is the picture in your mind. فَبَاءُ رَجَعُ بِغَضَبٍ عَلَىٰ غَضَبٍ With anger upon anger. وَالْغَدَبْ دِدُّ الرِّضَىٰ And anger is the opposite of pleasure. Uh, pleasure as in one is, is pleased with somebody, رِضَىٰ وَمَنْ غَدَبَ اللَّهُ وَمَنْ غَدِبَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ Whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is angry with him, أَبْعَدَهُ He makes him far away from him. وَمَنْ رَضِيَ عَنْهُ And whoever Allah is pleased with, قَرَّبَهُ وَأَدْنَاهُ He brings him closer to him. فَرَجَعُوا So the Jews, رَجَعُوا They returned مِن طُولِ رِحْلَتِهِمْ From their long journey فِي الضَّلَالِ In which the journey was to the land of misguidance بِغَضَبٍ عَظِيمٍ With great anger سَبَبُهُ And its reason was كُفْرٌ كُفْرُهُمْ بِعِيسَى The first غَضَب is that they disbelieved in Isa عليه السلام وَبِغَضَبٍ عَظِيمٍ And the second غَضَب بِغَضَبٍ عَلَى غَضَب Sababuhu and the reason was kufruhum bi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is that they disbelieve in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The ayah ends, walil kafirina adabum muheen. And for the kuffar is a punishment which is muheen. What does muheen mean? Adabun fi dunya. First of all, the adab is in the dunya, in this world, wal akhira, in the akhira. Fihi, in this adab, ihana, humiliation, wasigar, belittlement. وَظُلٌ لِلْمُعَذَّبِ بِهِ And there is humiliation. ذُل is humiliation for the person who is punished. وَأَقْرُوا دَعْوَانَ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ